you hope it works. You never know. I forgot that one. And there we go. Great. Greetings, humans. Greetings, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode. Bear here, 29-year veteran of the woods, and today, oh boy, oh boy, do we actually have a good show for you people here today. Yes, indeed, actually, we've got, uh, let me find it here. Real quick, people, one of these days. One of these days we will do a professional show, but we actually got a um, a package in just the other day. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a box open here in just a little bit. We'll get a couple more people in, uh, see what's going on there. But uh, let's go ahead and just get right on into it here because we actually have some... Um, Darn it, one of these days. Uh, we actually have some uh, very important, very, very important campaign update news here. So let's go ahead and just get right on into it here. And find out where it is, where it is. There it is. Uh, from uh, Aaron Lepresti out there and uh, Wraith. Oh, one of the very interesting books out there, the Wraith of God series. Hold on, one second. There we go. Get that out of the way. Uh, yes, indeed. So uh, we actually have uh, uh, what's happening? What's happening, yo? Uh, with the Wraith of God update. So uh, let's actually, I've got a nice, a very nice cover here. We can look at that instead of, uh, instead of an email. Kind of silly. Uh, P Money is here. P Money is here. Uh, hey, good to see P Money. Says, uh, hey, Bear. Oh, box opening theme song. That's right. A bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear. Box openings. Yes, indeed. But unfortunately, not, uh, not Wraith of God yet today. But, um, we'll, we'll get into the box opening here in just a second. But first, but first, uh, we have um, a Wraith of God update. He says, hey, everyone. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening, you ask? He says, uh, well, the Wraith of God graphic novel is at the printer and uh, awaiting a final uh, printer's proof. Uh, right now, uh, the delivery date is June 10th. Uh, there you go. So a little, little over a month away. Uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed uh, that they are able to keep that date. Uh, we, we, uh, bear's, bear's claws are crossed here. <clears throat> Uh, in the meantime, I've begun uh, shipping out the original art perks. There you go. It may take me a week or so to get them all packaged and sent up. Uh, packaged up and sent out, rather. Uh, but the process has begun. I, I also finished the rough sketchbook uh, that will be off to the printers tomorrow. Uh, 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 today, actually. I'm starting work on the final stretch goal. A Wraith of God print uh, this week and plan on having it wrapped up soon. Uh, things are moving... Uh, to the home stretch. Thank you all for your continued support of this exciting project. So there you go. A very, um, I, I, I say kind of quick update, but that, there you go. Uh, he has kind of, you know what? A lot of the people, they don't, um, <coughs> they don't give like a, a sort of um, a, a timeline of what's going on there. So um, uh, thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, he's got the uh, June 10th to be kind of on the lookout there. So you figure maybe another month. Maybe another month and a half or so to get it all kind of packaged and wrapped up and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, probably uh, July, maybe maybe early August is um, uh, hopefully when we'll be able to get our books. Be able to get our books, people. It, it, it's going to be interesting seeing all these books come out and we're all still waiting on um, on, on Cyberfrog. Or, or, or if you prefer Lone Star out there. So, um, yeah, a number of books that are kind of um, uh, lapping some of the uh, uh, bigger projects out there. So there you go. Uh, that was the only was the only campaign update that Bear had here. So let's go ahead, and get right on back, back over to it because uh, because well I don't know. Should we go ahead and do the do the box opening now? I don't know. We will um, we'll let that hang in the air for just a second there and see if um. See if anyone wants to see the box open right away. But we actually have uh, some interesting news out there uh, for beer here. Let me pull it up here. One of these days. I tell you what, one of these days. No, not that. Uh, for crying out loud. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, P Money Asser says, um, Aaron set the bar at keeping backers informed. Yeah, there you go. Uh, pretty much. I would say pretty much. Uh, wish all the other campaigns followed suit. Well, you know what? Uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, Beer kind of reads some of this. You know, um, uh, uh, some people might not get, uh, uh, um, was it, uh, uh, Wraith of God out there, so they might not be getting that. 
that are interested in kind of seeing what's going Maybe they're interested in just seeing what the campaign's all about and uh, uh, Wraith of God 2 comes out. And, ah, well, you know what? They uh, they did pretty good jobs. So they'll go ahead and get it the, that next time or something like that. But uh, actually, Bear kind of uses that to uh, uh, compare and contrast with some of the other campaigns. So you have a, a kind of a nice, detailed, kind of laid out, um, as P-Money says, kind of uh, uh, keeping the bar there. As far as keeping people updated. And then you have other campaigns out there that just says, um, you know, hey, you stick with me. We're still working. And, and maybe post an image or something like that. And that's it. I, uh, there's kind of uh, the, the um, uh, uh, completely, completely opposite here. But the, the Sovereign campaign, uh, every six months or so, Andrew Cuerta will kind of pop up and uh, show a piece of artwork. And, oh, yeah, I'm still working on it. And then, you know, disappear for the next six months or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, want to showcase some of the great, uh, not only campaigns out there, but uh, some of the artists that are keeping people informed and um, letting the backers know what's uh, what's really up out there. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, uh, uh, no answer on whether we should do a, a box open yet or not. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and move on to uh, some interesting news that we have out here. Some interesting stuff that we have out here. Where's Bear? There's Bear. There's Bear. Gosh darn it. I tell you what. Uh, from our good folks at Deadline, um, uh, let's see, uh, Greg Evans out there. Uh, he says, uh, Broadway's Take Me Out uh, Theater to Install Infrared Systems to Detect Smartphone Scoffles. Sco scofflaws? Scofflaws. Whatever the heck. I don't know. Uh, uh, following the leak on social media of cell phone video and photos of a naked... Jesse Williams, star of Broadway's Take Me Out. Uh, the venue has installed an infrared camera system facing the audience that will be monitored in real time by the venue's security team. Uh, the cell phone video shot from the audience and then posted on social media uh, the day of the Tony Awards announcement infuriated uh, second stage theater actors, or excuse me, uh, second stage theater uh, actors' equity, act, oh, crying out loud, and Williams' co star. Jesse Tyler Ferguson, uh, taking naked pictures of anyone without their consent is highly objectionable and can have severe legal consequences, Second Stage said in a statement last night. Uh, posting it on the internet is a gross and un unacceptable violation of trust between the actor and audience forged in the theater community. Well, and I'm sure you're probably asking, wait a minute, bear, bear just one second here. Um, uh, you have an actor that is um, on stage and he is naked, and uh, and that's okay. But somebody taking a picture of the actor on stage naked—that's uh, a complete violation and possibly criminal. Uh, uh, you're probably saying, "What's? Wait a minute. What's the? Wait, how, how does that work?" Well, uh, moving on. Moving on. Uh, the theater company said that it is quote actively pursuing takedown requests and asked that no one participates in the distribution. Of these images and the venue good luck with that uh, and the venue is adding additional staff to the theater to enforce the policy Arr! yes indeed uh, the new monitoring system installed today uh, augments current security camera systems allowing the venue to focus in on suspicious activity uh, violators could either be asked to leave and or delete footage and or a punch to the face I, I'm appalled by the disrespect shown to the actors of our company whose vulnerability on stage every night is critical to take me out, Ferguson tweeted. Uh, anyone who applauds or trivializes this behavior has no place in the theater, uh, which has always been a safe space for artists and audience members. Yes, indeed. Well, um, uh, Bear's not going to be invited to the theater anytime soon, but uh, you know what? Uh, as far as safe spaces, you know, uh, you go out to your Broadway or your off-Broadway show there, and uh, you got to go see a show or something like that. Dinner and a show, and then all of a sudden, uh, you get this big lecture to about uh, whatever the big topic of the day is or something like that. Uh, that's not a safe space at all. You just want to go and uh, uh, go watch a Broadway show, and all of a sudden, you're you're being lectured to. Or, or you know, the freaking... Uh, uh, actor just comes out with, you know, complete full frontal there. And, oh, God, I, I, where's my safe space now? And there you go. Uh, Williams himself was asked about the nude scene. No, uh, though not the video leak. On Bravo's Watch What Happens Live Monday. Uh, telling uh, host host. Telling host host. <laughs> host host. 
I, I, I suppose that's too nice. Uh, Andrew Cohen, uh, everyone around me was going, are you serious? Are you sure? Nude, 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 host, host, naked, naked. And everybody makes such a big deal. It's a body. Uh, once you see it, you realize, oh, whatever, it's just a body. I just have to not make that big of a deal of it. Other than uh, installing a security system to watch um, uh, the audience make sure they're not taking pictures of you. Even prior to the photo leak, Second Stage was taking unusual steps uh, to prevent violators of Broadway's no photo rule. I didn't know there was a no, no, no photo rule. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh my god, my OBS is going bad. Hold on, one, pe one second, people. One second, people. Let's try it out loud. Come on, man! Why are you doing this to me, OBS? Dang you! Greetings, humans. Greetings, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Bear Here, 29-Year Veteran of the Woods. And today, boy, oh boy, people, we did it. We actually did it. You know, uh, Bear was a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, complaining, I suppose, just a little bit about some of the other uh, three, uh, four, sometimes five-hour-long live streams. Well, you know what? Bear, Bear took that and um, uh, ran with it, did his own... A six and a half hour long live stream the other day, and uh, I tell you what, people, we did it. We we finally cured polio. Uh, I, <laughs> it's uh, it was a long time coming, but we finally finally got that disease taken care of. So thank you, thank you, everybody who uh, uh, came out to the uh, uh, to the show the other day. <laughs> that um, I, I apologize, people. Our our internet went out. That happens sometimes when you. Would you abscond the internet from uh, uh, from the neighbors over there? And, uh, uh, you know, they, they say, hey, wait a minute, we, we, we want to, you know, watch Netflix or something like that. And um, uh, your internet completely goes to um, uh, uh, down the toilet, as it were. So uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently it, it kept going for, uh, you know, another, uh, another six hours and 20 minutes or so on bear there. So uh, appreciate everyone that uh, uh, came by and I, I guess decided to chat or something like that with Bear, ah, uh, Bear, where, what's up? Where, where are you at? And, um, uh, a Bear wasn't there, so, uh, I appreciate everyone out there. Uh, the other day, um, uh, doing some, uh, 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 for crying out loud, I'm getting the red already. We will see. We shall see if this will be a full show, but, uh, let's go ahead. Let's get right on into it. We have neither time for gibber or jabber, as it, as it were. So, uh, let's go ahead. People, let's go ahead and get right on into it. We actually had, um, uh, we were kind of getting into just a little bit here. We were actually talking about, um, let me find it here. One second here. Uh, we were actually talking about the Wraith of God campaign, uh, very quickly, uh, before Bear uh, uh, got off, uh, 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 kicked off the internet here. I'm not gonna uh, read the entire thing here, but, um, uh, basically, it's going to be, uh, um, delivering. Uh, the printer's proof on uh, June 10th. So figure about another month or so before they get that back, and then maybe another month or so before um, uh, it gets shipped out into your door or something like that. So probably figure, uh, you know, maybe late uh, July, maybe early August, mid-August, somewhere right around there is um, uh, hopefully, hopefully when we're going to be getting um, a wreath of God. I'm going to see Rat Boy here. Oh, what's the scroll? What's the scoop? Uh, not, not too much of a scoop here, but uh, we actually have. Let me let me bring it up for Rat Boy here, because because we actually have. We're gonna be doing a. Here, I can find it here. We're gonna be doing a a box open here. So stick around for that. Stick around for that. We're gonna figure out what's inside there. But let's go ahead uh, very quickly here. Uh, I get back just very briefly here. Uh, he also says that he's going to be doing. Uh, this is Aaron Lepresti. He's going to be doing the uh, rough. Uh, sketchbook, and that'll be off to the printers, uh, and also the, um, uh, the Wraith of God print, uh, this week as well. Hopefully, he says, having it, having it wrapped up, uh, soon, and he says, uh, the things are moving into the final stretch, and thank you all for your continued support of this exciting project. So there you go, a very, uh, once again, we were actually talking yesterday about, um, uh, really how good Aaron is doing on keeping people up to date, 
and um, letting people uh, uh, know what's going on in the process. You know, sometimes things get delayed. Sometimes things uh, don't work out as planned. So it's always nice to have somebody there to say, hey, you know, uh, it's it's not going out as planned, but uh, here's here's what we're going to be doing about it. And, you know, here's how it's going to be fixed. It's just basically keeping people um, uh, up to date and informed rather than uh, just coming out with a, a just a random post of, hey, uh, we're still at it. Uh, we're still going, yada, yada, yada. And that's that's it. You know, you don't even show any artwork or anything. So um, uh, very good, very good on Aaron out there. Uh, enjoy uh, is going to enjoy the Wraith of God. I, I'm pretty sure the campaign, uh, if the campaign is run as good as the book looks, then I'm pretty sure that the book is going to come out uh, just fine. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get back into it. Oops, not that one. Not that just yet, gosh darn it. Because, let me find it here. We were talking the other day before Bear was rudely interrupted with his internet being um, uh, taken out here. Uh, we were talking about a very interesting story uh, uh, coming from Broadway and installing infrared cameras to detect what they call a smartphone scoffles. Scofflaws, however you pronounce that. And they were um, going to be putting in uh, some cameras there for a show, what was it called, uh, Take Me Out? Uh, 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 kind of like the uh, uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, uh, the baseball thing. Uh, let me see here, it says... Um, Let's see. Uh, the video showing uh, both Williams and co-star Michael uh, Oberhalzer uh, naked. Oh my goodness. Uh, might have been the reason the beer got cut the other day. Maybe YouTube was um, uh, uh, worried that beer was going to show some videos. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Uh, the play about the New York uh, Yankees-like baseball team and the fallout when a star player comes out as gay. Oh, stunning and brave. Stunning and brave, Broadway. Uh, includes more than one scene of full nudity. Uh, and, uh, let's see, a uh, Ferguson is the sole cast member who does not disrobe. But, uh, they, they, you know, it's kind of weird where, uh, you, you get nude in front of a studio full of people there, uh, and that's fine, that's fine, but, uh, God forbid if somebody takes a picture of it and puts it up on, um, puts it up on the interwebs there, so, uh, very interesting, uh, stuff. So they're, they're basically, uh, uh, taking cameras and looking into, um, uh, uh, other other audience members out there and seeing what's going on there. Uh, let's see, uh, it goes on and says, uh, Nor would the use of an infrared system to detect violators be a first. In 2017, magician Derek Delgadio uh, was appearing on his hit off-Broadway show in and of itself when he noticed on a security monitor with infrared capability that an audience member was recording a show with a smartphone concealed in his breast pocket. Uh, the audience member turned out to be a rival mentalist. A rival mentalist uh, from Northern Ireland. I, I'm not sure if there's very men many mentalists in Northern Ireland there. Uh, the house manager inspected his phone following the show but found no recording. Uh, elsewhere on Broadway, just two days after the Take Me Out video was posted, security staff at Chicago, currently starring Pamela Anderson, oh my goodness, let's hope that she's getting naked, in a, a limited engagement, well, we're seen uh, repeatedly confronting audience members attempting to serendipitously shoot cell phone video of Anderson during her song and dance uh, numbers. At one point, a security uh, asked two members seated next to the video scoffles, scofflaws, uh, to briefly vacate their seats so the security team could sit beside and have a conversation with their fists. Uh, I, I don't know. A, a, a chat with the violators who did not resume recording thereafter. So there you go, uh, just kind of finishing up the story that we had there yesterday. Broadway's Take Me Out Theater to install infrared system to detect smartphone scoffles, scofflaws, whatever the heck, I don't know, it doesn't matter. All right, well, let's go ahead. I mean, we've got a number of other things here. I tell you what, I know I know everybody comes here for the, um, the cryptocurrency stuff. We'll get to that in just a little bit here, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get back into the uh, great, great little box open that we are going to have here. Let me um, let me get some uh, lights working here first. So uh, bear with bear. Talk, talk amongst your shells, people. Talk amongst your shells. Let's see. Come on. Let's go in here. Why is this not turning off? There we go. There we go. You gotta have lights. You gotta have lights before you have either camera. Or action, as it were. Yes, indeed. So uh, let's go ahead. Get right on into it. I, I could open this up with 
the beer claws here, but uh, beer's got the old trusty knife. Uh, let's, uh, uh, that would help if you people could see it, too. That would help if you could see it. Uh, there we go. There we are. I, I've got to apologize for, um, for the video quality here. It actually, uh, probably on your screen there, it's as, um, uh, kind of uh, dark and a little bit washed out. Hello, people. Uh, a little bit washed out there, so uh, Bear is recording this in HDR, so hopefully in the next couple days we're going to have the nice, uh, if you've seen some of Bear's uh, previous HDR videos, ah, they pop, ah, they look real great, but unfortunately when um, uh, we're going through the interwebs here, it, it kind of cuts down on the quality just a little bit, so uh, uh, apologies in advance for it being a little bit dark, but uh, uh, stick with Bear. A uh, couple days we'll have the, the regular HDR box open here, so... Uh, all right, uh, shield your ears for just a second. Let me move the microphone. Here we go. And get it over here so people can not only see Bear, but, but also hear him as well. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, Bear's going to do this as a normal video here. So we're going to do an introduction and, and an outro as well. But uh, don't go anywhere. Bear's, Bear's still going to be here. Uh, we got plenty more stuff to talk about. But we're going to be doing this as a, a normal video here. So just stick tight. Uh, if... If people have any comments or questions, we'll get to that uh, after we get done with the um, uh, with the box open here. So um, we'll go ahead. Uh, P Money always demands that uh, Bear does his um, uh, uh, box open uh, 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 voice um, uh, uh, um, song as well. So let's go ahead and do it. Bear, Bear couldn't get on the Broadway. Uh, uh, he's naked all the time, but uh, just couldn't get on the Broadway. Uh, but he can sing. Uh, the box open song. So here we go. A bear, 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 box openings. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. So let's go ahead. We'll do the countdown here. We'll do the countdown. We'll do three. We'll do dos. Do uno. Greetings, humans. Greetings, and welcome back. Another fun-filled episode. Bear here, 29-year veteran of the woods, and today, oh boy, oh boy, we got to package in from, um, oh, let's see here. Let's see who it could be from. Uh, uh, Sween, Sean Sweeney, uh, from Sween's Illustration and Design. So, let's go ahead, if you want to see what's inside. Ah, uh, you better stick around. Uh, let, let me, ah, uh, gosh darn it, I, I hate doing this live, because I always screw up some way. Ah, uh, for crying out loud. Uh, let's do, let's do take two, people, take two. <clears throat> I'd get a drink as well. Ah, there we go. Yes, indeed. All right. We'll do it in three. We'll do it in two. Greetings, humans. Greetings, and welcome back to another fun-filled episode. Bear here, 29 year veteran of the woods, and today, uh, we've got a package in. Yes, indeed, so if you want to see what's inside, you know what you gotta do. Ah, uh, you gotta stick around. Oh, bear, 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 box openings. Yes, indeed. All right, <clears throat> let's see here. And a three, and a two, and a one. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, welcome back. A beer appreciates you here. Hey, you know what? If you got a quick second, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, give Bear a thumbs up as well. He would appreciate that very much. All right, enough of that jibber jabber. We actually got a package in uh, the other day from, let's see, uh, 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 Sean Sweeney. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know what? Bear was out uh, the other day foraging through the neighborhood trash cans when all of a sudden the postman comes up delivering a package to little Timmy McTimerson. Ah, oh, well, Bear swiped left and then right. Ah, postman ran away and dropped this package here. Yes, indeed. So, uh, can go ahead and get right on into it. Uh, very quickly first, uh, not too much damage. Only dropped once, only dropped once there. So uh, let's go ahead. A uh, bear could open it with his bear claws, but you know what? He's got the old trusty knife just in case. I had to get through all that. All that tape, I tell you what. Bear's nemesis of the tape. Let's go ahead and get right on into it without any delay here. We've got the, we've got the lovely Gemini mailer there. Very cool. Very cool indeed, because, put that out of the way, cool. we actually got a little bit of oddity here, oddity, we were actually talking about that uh, the other day, uh, so it got down, got down pretty quickly here, so very cool, I uh, got the nice little add-ons and whatnot, so uh, uh, very nice, very nice, there's the back, 
But let's go ahead, let's tear right on into it and see what we got. See what we got in... Mm, pardon me, see what we got inside here, people. Alright, let's go ahead. Very gently... Very gently get through this tape here. Very gently. There's Nemesis, I tell you what. Yeah, for crying out loud. You did a great job packaging it, by the way. Great job packaging. There we go. All right. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way because... Because we've got a blank piece of paper there. But that's not what we came here for. We came here for... The King Toad Comics. There you go. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And that is... Oh, wow. That's actually a very nice cover. With Cyber Frog. Very cool. Very nice. Very nice cyber frog jumping in through there. Trying to remember who did the, uh, I think this might actually be Ethan. I think this might actually be Uncle E's, um, let me see here. Yeah, 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 there we go, there's the, there's the signature right there. If we can see it. Very cool, very cool indeed. So, um, very nice, uh, alternate cover here uh, from Uncle E. Very nice, very good looking cyber frog there. Uh, with the oddity as well. He's got his own little signature on there as well. There you go. Very cool. Very cool. Let's put this off to the side for just a second. We actually have... We actually have more people. We have more. Yes, indeed. All right. So we actually got... Let me get to it here. We got a... Got a patch. Got a patch for the Odd Army. Uh, bears fingers in the way there. The, the, the Odd Army. Very cool. You can put this on your... Um, on your motorcycle jacket when you're riding the hog out there. Yes, indeed. Very cool. Very cool. I actually got a... Got a pin. Got an oddity pin. That's pretty neat. You, you don't see very many, um... Uh, 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 pins like this. So, uh, very cool. Very cool. Actually, it is, um... Got the, got the double... The double pins in there. So, uh, there you go. There you go. Pretty cool. All right, and we also got, holy cow, a number, a number of, and I'm trying to remember if this is all, I don't know if this is all the same artist or if it's different artists here, but, um, neat little, neat little oddity there, very cool, nice little print, there we go, I believe this is the, uh, Uncle E cover here, oh, it's a little bit different, a little bit different, I, I think just, let's see, uh, yeah, the, the pose a little bit and the background definitely uh, is, is different. Different there. But very cool. A, a very nice little... We go a little bit closer there for you good people. Very cool. Very cool. Some great... Uh, some great... Oh, hello. Uh, some great color in here as well. Some great coloring. There you go. Um, I'm trying to, trying to remember. I think this might be... Um, uh, no, no, no. This isn't... Um, this isn't uh, uh, Monster MD. I thought maybe it might be one of the characters from from Monster MD there, but um, apparently not. Apparently not. But but they actually have. I'm trying to remember who all these characters are. Um, let's see. I think it is. I think it is. Um, I'm not sure. Is this Sanobi Sasquatch? I'm not really sure. And maybe maybe the Monster MD. Guy, I'm not. I'm not sure about these two other characters here. Um, uh, they might have had um, kind of tie-ins with some of that stuff. Um, I, unfortunately, with um, with Oddity here, it it came out. Let's see. They started their campaign. I want to say late, late 2018, maybe early 20, 2019 or something like that. Uh, here it is, 2022. Um, uh, uh, took took quite a little bit of a time to uh, to come out with some of that stuff so I, a little bit unsure on some of the different um some of the different characters there uh, as far as the the team monster there but uh, there you go uh, some nice prints uh, got a a patch there very cool got a pin and of course i remember we also got a comic as well with it so uh, there we go let's go ahead let's take a peek inside see what we got inside here not for you good people you can see actually i can open up to the front and Maybe we can see all of the people that worked on it. Yes, indeed. All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, written and created by uh, David Sean and Sweens. And uh, art by Sweens. Story by David Sean and Letters 
But your glitter's too much. Yes, indeed. So there you go. Very cool. That looks like a cyber frog and um, and a salamandroid. Let's see. I can't tell. Anyways, very cool. I, I really like the colors. I, I, it might be a little hard to tell here, but I really like the colors on here. It really kind of pops out. Uh, very cool. Very nicely, very nicely done here. Let's just get into a random spot here. Hello, what's going on there? I don't know what's going on there. Honkers. I, I, I don't know. We, we started on a very random page here, but there you go. Very interesting. Got some really great colors here. It, it didn't say who did the uh, beer cave. Oh, I thought that said bear cave. It's just the beer cave. Uh, beer would like some beer in his cave, though. That would be nice. So, uh, anyways, very cool. I, again, like the colors in here. Very good job on the colors. Um, oh, my God, poor guy. <laughs> ah, poor guy. Um, very interesting, uh, uh, colors and whatnot was going on here. Uh, very good artwork as well. Um, I don't recall on how many... Oops, that's the end here. Don't want to show the ending. Don't want to show the ending. Come on, Bear. There we go. And some fan art. Always enjoy whenever they do some of the, some of the fan art out there. And, of course, some special thanks going on out there as well. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So, uh, nice, nice stuff. Some great artwork here. Excellent colors. Excellent colors. I, I, I really think that the coloring um, uh, pops pops off the page here. Um, some really good artwork. I thought that they did a really good job with, with all of that. So, very cool. Very good oddity with the uh, cyber frog um, on there, on the cover there for... For oddity, very cool. So, uh, very much looking forward to uh, checking. A very uh, thick book too. I don't. I forget how many pages that was, but um, uh, nice and nice and thick, as it were. Yes, indeed. There you go. So, uh, I did see how many pages it was, but uh, beer can kind of maybe take a guess, like maybe seventy or so, seventy or odd pages or something like that. Very cool. I, I can see why it took a while. I can see why it took them a while. Um, especially kind of, um, uh, uh, talking about Cyberfrog here, kind of, um, uh, uh, one of the comp uh, c uh, comments, complaints, I suppose, with, uh, Cyberfrog, uh, really great, um, uh, coloring from Kyle Richard, but unfortunately the, the paging, um, uh, was, was, I think, too thin, so it kind of, um, uh, saturated the pages there and kind of caused them to wrinkle, so, uh, maybe a little bit of time, uh, spent making sure that the, the pages came out good, uh, uh, Definitely no, no defects in there other than bear's claws. Other than the bear's claws there, but uh, very cool, very cool. A, a long, a long wait here for Oddity. A, a really long wait here for Oddity. I think it took them uh, way too long for them to kind of come out with their book. But uh, hey, you know what? Once it's out, once it's out, uh, we're gonna gonna check it out for you good people here, and uh, maybe maybe um, make a. A quick review or something like that in the, uh, the months coming up, weeks, months coming up here. So, uh, there we go. Let's move this here real quick, people. One second. Oh, for crying out loud. Bear with bear. Bear with bear. This is really good here. Yeah, oh, gosh darn it. There we go. And there we go. So, a little bit of oddity. Oddity for you good people. All right. Well, you know what, people? All this talk. All of this talk about oddities and different different prints and whatnot. You know what? Has made Bear hungry. So he's gonna head back into the woods. So until next time, people. Great. You know what? I totally forgot. Totally forgot to record this for um, for the HDR. So there you go. There's there's that. Gosh darn it. Uh, this is why this is why Bear doesn't do too many box openings on a on a live show because of all the stuff that can go wrong. Uh, for crying out loud. Uh, for crying out loud. One of these days, one of these days, we will actually do a professional show. Uh, it won't be today, unfortunately, but um, uh, yeah, yeah, we will eventually. One of these days, maybe, maybe after we've a, um, uh, cured polio, uh, we can actually do a a. A decent show out there for you good people. Yes, indeed. All right, so that was basically it for Beer. Um, uh, he had kind of the, the box open that he wanted to do here. And, of course, 
Uh, for crying out loud, I'm dropping frames all over the place here. All right, let's see. How long have we been on? About 30 minutes or so. Uh, with one viewer out there. Well, we thank the one viewer out there. But um, uh, you know what? We had a number of other things to go through here. And we're going to talk a little bit about... Um, uh, just very briefly, I suppose, before... Uh, uh, if, it, if it goes off on bear, it goes off on bear. But just very briefly. Um, one of the things that we talked about... Of course, you come here for your box openings. Uh, you stay for your uh, campaign updates. But uh, the real reason that people come... Uh, to bear show here is um, uh, the cryptocurrency talk. Yes, indeed. So um, if you've been following along a little bit with um, bear here, by the way, we're looking at uh, CoinDesk, and uh, let's see, it would be Sam uh, Kessler and Danny uh, Nelson out there. Uh, let's see, if, if you've been following a little bit with bear, uh, we talked a little bit, um, oh gosh, it's been probably several months back about uh, what's called a stable coin, uh, or, or um, let's see, what was it, uh, a tether out there. Uh, basically, it was a way to stabilize uh, your Bitcoin or your Ethereum or uh, whatever you have out there and basically peg it to the dollar so uh, the wild gyrations in the market, uh, let's say you're trying to uh, either buy or sell something at a certain price, and you went to go pay for it in your Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever. Well, the, the markets might go up or down in between the time that uh, your transaction goes through. So a, a way to kind of uh, simplify a lot of that is to say, okay, let's, let's take the Ethereum or whatnot and transfer it over uh, to what they call a, a stable coin. Uh, which is more or less, I just figure it as, as the dollar on um, uh, the cryptocurrency out there. Well, we kind of found out uh, through one of these stories that the, uh, let's see, U.S. Tether, U.S.T., uh, basically was um, supposed to be backed by a bunch of assets. It wasn't. Uh, they, they did an audit and it, maybe like a third of it was backed or something like that, if, if Bear recalls correctly. So uh, we go on uh, to today here where uh, U.S. Uh, T, U.S. Tr uh, Tether, rather, uh, Do Quan uh, was behind an earlier failed, failed stablecoin, uh, ex Terra colleagues say. Uh, Basis Cash, uh, the algorithmic uh, stablecoin project founded by the anonymous Rick and Morty, oh, for crying out loud, to the Bitcoin volcano, for both of you, uh, in 2020 was actually the work of Terraform Labs employees. So he says, uh, Do Quan. Uh, the CEO of Terra Creators, Ter Terra Creators, uh, Terraform Labs, was one of the synonymous uh, co-founders behind the failed algorithmic stablecoin uh, Basis Cash. Uh, CoinDesk has learned. Uh, Basis Cash was a closely watched uh, revival in decentralized. So, uh, um, uh, basically, instead of going to your bank, uh, you have a decentralized system. So. Uh, uh, anybody on the internet who has your Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever, uh, you could you could basically get financed through them rather than having to go through a bank or something like that. So that is that is decentralized finance. Oh, when it launched on Ethereum in late 2020, uh, just before the launch of Terra USD, uh, Terra's flagship stablecoin, like uh, UST uh, BAC, that's uh, Basis Cash, uh, sought to maintain a one dollar peg through code. Not through collateral. I, I, I don't see what could go wrong with that. But it failed! Oh my god! Well, uh, I, I couldn't see what went wrong with that. The token of this long-abandoned project never achieved its target of dollar parity. It sank below a dollar in 2021 and was trading well below one cent on Wednesday. Uh, that's a quite a fall. Uh, if you're trying to peg your, your um, uh, uh, cryptocurrency to the dollar and it's only worth one cent, I, I, I'd say that's a complete failure. And now history appears to be repeating over the last three days. Uh, UST sank pre precipitously below its peg, going as low as 27 cents in early morning US hours on Wednesday. Well, good thing, good thing. I mean, all your Bitcoin and um, Ethereum, all, all, of the, all of the crazy cryptocurrencies, luckily those are doing great, right? These are doing great. Well, uh, here's here's the actual prices. Bitcoin actually came up. They actually were down uh, quite a bit, but they're down 3%. Ethereum, uh, just down 9%. No big deal. Uh, I, I don't know what XRP is. I, I don't recall what that is. Uh, not very 
not very um, uh, valuable out there. Uh, down 10%, uh, Solarium, Solarium, uh, down 12%, and Crow, I'm not sure what that one is, <laughs> 17 cents, uh, down almost 13%. So uh, uh, if you have if you have any cryptocurrency out there, you're taking, definitely taking it on the chin over the past couple days. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, UST's de-pegging. <laughs> that sounds dirty. It has shocked crypto markets and regulators alike as the once $15 billion stablecoin has continued its downward spiral. A while back, a 50, uh, excuse me, a $54.4 million footprint was far smaller in the impact, rather. It offers a historical data point for observers grappling with the feasibility of algorithmic stablecoins. Yes, indeed. Uh, 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 Mr. Kang, a former engineer of Terraform Labs, his basis co cash rather, uh, was in fact a side project from Sarah's, from Terra's rather early creators, including himself and Quan, uh, Kang, Kang and Quan, uh, wasn't that the aliens from, um, uh, 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 uh The Simpsons, w weren't they the one-eyed guys there, Kang and Quan, uh, ultimately left, uh, TFL to build a Terra competitor called the Standard Protocol. A basis cache wasn't tested at the moment, and we weren't even sure it would work. But please, please, please put in your money to this great project. We wanted to test it out with other people's money. Uh, he said that this was a pilot project for doing just that. Another basis cache provider who spoke to Coindesk on condition of anonymity confirmed that Do Kwan and TFL employees were behind the project. Both Kang and an anonymous employee had told Coindesk that Quan was Rick Sanchez, the synonymous co-founder. Uh, Coindesk also revealed uh, internal Basis Cash Korea chat logs in which Quan alludes to himself as Rick. Well, we finally found out this mystery. We finally found out this mystery. There you go. Uh, Basis Cash never reached the heights of the other Quan linked crypto projects. A total value locked briefly pegged, uh, peaked rather, at $174 million, uh, two orders of magnitudes below Terra's $30 billion uh, before this week's historic sell-off. So once again, I, I hope I hope you were able to sell it off and not hodl. If you're hodl, then you're losing right now. Uh, revealing the name behind an online pseudonym uh, is not a decision Coindesk takes lightly. Our default position is to respect the privacy of Rick out there, uh, synonymous actors with established reputations under their well-known handles, unless there's an overwhelming public interest in revealing their worldwide identity, or real-world identities. Uh, in this case, there is such a public interest as Quan's U.S. Uh, table, uh, 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 stablecoin, rather, uh, death spirals. <laughs> you never want your, your stablecoin in a death spiral, a uh, wreaking havoc across the broader, broader cryptocurrency market. Amid these precarious situations, investors deserve to know that UST was not Quan's sole attempt at making an algorithmic stablecoin work. Well, it didn't. It completely crashed. It completely failed. So uh, there you go. Uh, uh, let's see. It goes on. It goes on. But uh, beer. I think we've got the. I think we got the gist of it here. All right. Let me check. Make sure. Uh, it's teetering on the edge here, people. Teetering on the edge of whether or not it's going to work or not. Let's see. Um, uh, just very briefly, oh, we'll go through some of the stuff here. I'm not going to read it or anything like that. Uh, from ZDNet, uh, Chris Duckley. Uh, some people were talking a little while ago, uh, uh, back about a Blender, uh, uh, basically as a way to kind of get around... Um, uh, let's let's just say you're in Russia right now and you want to get your your money out of Russia and you got a bunch of cryptocurrency but it's uh, kind of being locked up. I can't get it out. Well, you would put it through uh, this thing called Blender. Kind of does a, a number of different things. Let's see, does it have the? Uh, there we go. It kind of launders. It's basically a money money laundering application here. Uh, so basically, they were. Um, a uh, uh, sanction, a uh, fine, rather, for uh, $600 million uh, for a... Ro uh, 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 essentially, the North Koreans were um, uh, uh, laundering money through Blender. Blender is like, yeah, sure, North Korea. No, no big issue. No biggie. No big issue as well. So uh, there you go. 
uh, uh, the, oh, uh, pardon me. They were, um, uh, let's see, uh, sanctioned $20.5 million. $25 instead of $600 million. Still, uh, not chump change for anybody. Not, t- not chump change at all. All right, uh, 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 just very briefly, I uh, thought this was an interesting, interesting headline here from the NASDAQ. U.S. plastic recycling rates dropped to close to 5%. Uh, there you go. So uh, if you're if you're recycling out there, you're wasting your time. Uh, basically, it just goes straight to the landfill anyway. So uh, I wouldn't wouldn't really bother with that unless your local program actually does a, a decent job out there. A decent job. Uh, Bear Bear notices that all the time whenever he's digging through the trash. All the all these all these recycling boxes out there, and they just take it to the trash. Just take it to the trash. And finally, kind of a interesting. Um, interesting article. Maybe we might get to it the next time here. Uh, they did a uh, F1 Grand Prix. That's the really fast cars out there uh, in Miami. So they have one of the um, one of the drivers out there. One driver slash um, uh, possible homeless man. Uh, you know, if you pulled up on the side of the road and saw this guy out there, you'd say, uh, let's see, is he a, a world-renowned race car driver or is he just begging for money? I'm not sure. Not sure, but let's see. He says... Uh, he explains, rather, the Act Now or Swim Later uh, shirt that he wore to the uh, Miami Grand Prix because, gosh darn it, all of that, all of that global warming is going to put put Miami underwater. Well, um, the first thing that you can do is, is stop driving your gas guzzling car. I, I think that would be, I think that would be the wise solution there for uh, Mr. Uh, Vettel, or, or Vettel, however you pronounce its name, who cares, who cares? Slight homeless man slash slash race car driver. Yes, indeed. So, anyways, that was that was kind of Bear's Bear's thing here. I was not sure if not sure if the internet was going to hold up for Bear, but actually actually did a pretty good job here. So, I did a nice little box open with uh, Oddity. Once again, apologize to everybody out here. Was trying to do an HDR video, but um, you know what? Bear forgot to record. So. Um, a complete waste on that. So we'll, we'll we'll see what we can do with the box open video. Hopefully, um, hopefully we can play around with it a little bit and um, and maybe make it work for you, good people. All right. Well, you know what? All all of these boxes and openings and um, trying to make sure that the internet works. You know what has made made beer hungry. So he's gonna head back into the woods. So until next time, people. Grrr.